All right, welcome back to the section. Today we're gonna be going over my 2003 Chevy Silverado. Had a check engine light come on, and it was engine code. Let's go here. It was P1516. The where you at? Throttle actuator control module. Throttle actuator position performance. It is a severe issue. In fact, it put my truck into low power mode or limp mode. I want to go ahead and show y'all how I went about fixing this because all the research that I did pretty much said there's about a hundred different ways that this could go wrong. So let's get to it. All right. Make sure you turn your car off. Kind of working against time here. The truck's got a bad starter, so if I go to start it up again, it doesn't. I'll have to cut that part out and we'll get you to where it was. So you're gonna need your eight millimeter socket, speed handle, or ratchet. You're gonna take it off right here. Good, take your plastic off. Just gives you better access. Also, you're gonna have to get your flathead screwdriver, take off this hose clamp so you can get to your throttle body. Okay. Deal. I'm just gonna pull that off. Cool. Pull it out of the way. So basically, a couple things that so that need to be done. Ugh. This right here. You got your wiring, and then you're also gonna be checking inside your throttle body. Want to make sure it's not clogged. Nothing's going crazy. Can't really see too good in there just because the angle I've got. Uh, I've got you on the GoPro 7 on top of my head. Um, but basically, what I did for this fix was take your connection right here, you know, wiggle that sucker off. You know, look on the inside there, make sure your pins are all good, nothing's burnt, nothing's crazy. Cool, go ahead, don't tug too hard, make sure all your wires are properly seated. That way you don't have an issue there. I know that another video out there was fixed this way, and then you also scoot your way over. I don't know if you, got, if you guys can see in there or not, but you gotta make sure all your connections are good, not burnt. And all I did, literally, because everything looked good, took this uh, wire harness, pulled it, checked it, reinstalled it, and that did it for me. I'm gonna go ahead and put your intake back on. All right. And good to go. Make sure you're seated. Tighten that back up. Cool. Nice and snug. I always wait to put this on just because if it didn't work, but I know for a fact that it did. Grab your water. Cool. See if it starts. Nice, we did it just in time. No biggie. Here, I've got the fixed. It's the OBD2 sensor. Bluetooth connects to your car. I like it a lot. I got it as a gift and I gotta tell you, it's been working out pretty nice. There is a premium version that I have not gotten just because I'm a little cheap, but this gets the job done. So I'm gonna log on, on it, go to scan, tap scan. Make sure your car is on, or truck. Communicating. No problems detected. Perfect. I've tested this thing about 20 different times just to make sure, because I'd hate to go driving down the road and something bad happen. Um, I can go back to my history, and sure enough, scanned on today, 42920, and the last time it was detected was March 21st, and it's now fixed, so. Hopefully this helps everybody out. Just remember your truck is a big computer. Sometimes you just gotta unplug it and plug it back in. But uh, that's all there is today. Thanks for tuning into the section. See y'all later.